Hey guys, this is Neon Nezzy back again with another Destiny 6 video. Today we are going to be talking on crests and titles. This was a shout out video, or uh, I, I want to give Jevin Lazardo a shout out for the crest part who said, Yo, can you please make a guide on what crest to keep? If you have, or if you have a video already, please let me know. This is the video, and this summoning was shit. And then uh, Easy the Gamer, who actually asked me to make a video on on um on titles and so easy if you're watching this you don't have to do this all right and you can take as much time as you want but if you want to repay me the favor please make a video with a naruto edit like that would be so damn op dude thank you uh, in advance so before i get into it let me just uh say one thing yesterday's video i think i th i think it could be misinterpreted that i gave a lot of hate to people that are quitting the game I don't have problem with people quitting the game. Uh, if you guys go back from the CC on, you, you guys will see that the actual problem that I have is when people quit the game, but they keep coming back to forums and then on people's channels and just keep posting these negative comments about how the game is dying or how the developers are ruining the game. And one last thing I promise is that we got Scissor Carlota. She was the only unit that I really, really, really needed. And I've been saving up so much for her. I think I have like 19 legendary scrolls, four uh, guaranteed five-star scrolls. So we're going to be using all of those to get the new hero, um, the king guy. I forgot his name. Caesar? I, I forgot his name. So anyway, um, my Carlota right now is on trash runes. I can show you her orbs and crests later at the end of the video. But let's just go back to my orb video, okay? Because orbs and crests go hand in hand. So if you guys go back to my orb video, I just want to make one thing clear. I focus a lot in on concentration orbs, which I think actually have a higher stat requirement than the other two or the other three types of orbs that you guys can have. Higher stat requirement as in you guys need more stats on them. For example, if you're building a Elki, you guys will need HP. Uh, sorry, let me let me start off like this. For an Elki, you guys will need cooldown, crit rate, HP. For a Jun, you guys will need cooldown, crit rate, defense. For a Benito, you guys will need cooldown, crit rate, attack. You guys see how cooldown and crit rate, you want them on both because cooldowns are so very important and if you're going concentration, you want to maximize your crit rate, right? You guys, you guys need to get to that 30 or 40% crit rate, which I think is so very important, especially if a unit has no multi-hits. But then again, if the unit has no multi-hits, I don't know why you're ruining it or orbing it on concentration. It makes no sense to me. So let's say you start, uh, you orb your Elki on Vitality, Jun on Iron Guard, and then Benito on Bravery. Then your stat requirements for Elki just becomes cooldown, HP. Jun, cooldown, defense. Benito, cooldown, attack. You guys see how you guys only need two substats now? Because you don't need crit rate with these, with these orbs. Concentration orbs, a four set of them, provides you with a 10% critical rate, which is so very key to making a nuker. If you guys aren't going for a concentration route, do not try to get crit rate on your substats because it is not necessary because you guys are not trying to make a nuker out of that. You know, you guys aren't trying to make a critting nuker out of that unit. Let, let, let me put it like that, okay? So... I just wanted to say that if you guys are going concentration, then you guys need to be very picky with the other stats because you guys don't really need crit rate or even crit damage. Your your stat requirement is significantly lowered. So it's actually a lot easier to build them on other uh, orbs other than concentration. So crests, in my opinion, you cannot be as picky uh, with crests because orbs you guys can farm overnight, stack up like... 2,000 keys. If you have a speed team like mine, you wake up, 1,500 of those keys are used. You guys have like 150 uh, orbs farmed or something like that, like or, or like 100 orbs farmed. Crest, you guys can only do, in my opinion, the most efficient way to farm crest is to do three on giants, refresh for 100 rubies, three more, and then don't refresh anymore. That's a total of six crests and then two from the death drop. So that's eight crests per day. Out of those eight crests, you guys can very well get eight shit crests. So with crests, it really is hard. The only thing that you can really look for crests, in my opinion, is their main substat. So let's talk about substats or the main stat on crests. Let's talk about that first. Main stat on crests, you guys can either get HP or attack or defense. So HP, you guys can actually get on slots one, 
two, three, and four. Attack, you guys can only get on slots one and two. Defense can be only found on slots three and four. Meaning that if you guys want to maximize a unit's most buffiest stat, as in what the unit really, really uh, needs. For example, Benito needs attack, John needs defense, Kerr would need HP. Kerr would benefit the most from crest because you guys can get one, two, three, and four, four different crests with HP percent main stat, which is going to buff your Kerr up like no other. So in which case, we're going to try and orb up Tyler here just to give you guys a live demonstration. And um, he has he's, he's on concentration, so I guess I'll be a bit more picky with my orbs, or I mean with my crest. But let's just go into my Jun for right now. He's a defense killing unit, right? What did I say? Slots 1, 2, 3, and 4 can all get HP. Slots 1 and 2 can get attack. Slots 3 and 4 can get defense. So with Jun, the only thing that I really need is slots 3 and slots 4 with a defense main set. And as you guys can see, the self stats are so useless. However, that is the best that you can do with Crest because you don't have the variety. You don't have the... You know, guys, you, you don't have the freedom to uh, be picky with your crest. And because it doesn't really matter if he has HP or attack, he actually has two HP uh, orbs right here. Do you guys know how many crests I farmed? I have farmed a shit ton of crests. And the only crests that I think are even worth keeping around for me was this one over here. But again, it's a attack flat stat. So this can only go on to another defense unit. It can, it can go on to an attack unit because an attack unit uh, is going to actually get hindered by this plus 122 attack flat stat. And on an HP unit, you guys can always, always, always get a percentage HP. So there's no reason to put this on a HP or a attack type unit. This is always going to be going on to a defense type unit. Okay. Um... So let's go back to Tyler. So let's talk about Tyler, okay? And you guys can take this to any other unit. Of course, Tyler is on concentration, so he has a higher stat requirement. So if you guys go to your crest, and I think it was, uh, I think it was Thought who told me that I could just do this. This way I can see all the soft stats. So for Tyler, I need, uh, the main thing that I need is critical rate and then some attack. So right here, we have critical rate over here. However, slots one and two are the only places that I can actually have attack to buff up his attack power. But this is an HP. So if I put this on, I am going to be lacking the attack percentage that I could be getting onto him. So it really is just a question of what is more important, attack or crit rate? Of course, crit rate is more important, but let's just start off with slots three and four. So let's try to get attack or crit rate. Right here, we have a defense with um, crit rate. I don't have any defense units right now that are built on concentration, so I can go ahead and slap this on. We're going to go down here, search for crit rate. We found one HP, which is fine. Defense and HP actually don't really, he doesn't need to have a lot of defense or HP because he doesn't benefit from them. So now let's go, go to slots two and one where we can be a bit more picky. So what do we want now? Do we still want attack or concentration? I think in my opinion, he's at 31% constant or critical rate. I think now we can just start focusing on attack. So this one over here has 5.7 plus two from the subset, 7.7 .7 attack. Let's go ahead, slap that on. And then over here, we now have a choice of either going, well, actually we don't. We can either go uh, this one over here to give him some attack, or we can go this thing over here to give him some, uh, to, to give him some crit rate. He's already crossed a 30% 30, 30 margin, which is why I'm going to choose to maximize attack on him or maximize the attack that my crest can give on to him. So I'm just going to find that orb or crest again, slap this on. It's not the best. It's not the best. But then again, he's always in the striker position. I never use him in my core three. So I say this is pretty darn good, in my opinion. Um, what I could also do is give him a title because I don't have anything on him just go over here critical rate do i have anything no he already has a critical rate oh no he already, he already has a critical rate title never mind to the top tyler i didn't even see that so i hope that this orb guide was useful again you cannot be too um picky with your substats the main thing that you, you guys can hope for is your main stat also the main stat with crest 
are so damn volatile. I have gotten a four-star crest, all right? I have gotten a four-star crest that just had a 2% starting, starting attack. And this one over here actually had, I think, a 6% or a 7% starting attack. The highest that I've gotten is a 7.5, but I think people can get 8.0 or 8.5 main set as well. Also, um, it's really, really weird that sometimes your crest will, every enhancement will increase their main stat by, I don't know if, if, if I can show it to you guys here, but let me just try to find this. So this one over here is, it goes from 4.7 to 5. That's a, that is a 0.3% increase. Sometimes even on four star orbs, you guys can only be getting, you guys can, oh yeah, see right here. You guys can only get plus 0.2, which is just so darn weird. And I, this even happens on four star orbs. Uh, or four star crest so it's just i think it's just rng on what you guys get the best thing that you guys can get is something above a 5.0 or a 6.0 crest on the main stat and then have them increase in increments of 0.3 rather than 0.2 so that being said let's move on to titles titles in my opinion you guys can do one of two things either because every unit out there unless it's on concentration because concentration you guys need three things right uh, their the unit's main stat, cooldown reduction, and crit rate. Unless it's on that, generally you guys are going to be need to be buffing up two different stats. With concentration, it's three different stats. Titles, you guys can do one of two things. Whichever stat you're focusing on, you can either buff that stat up to a insane level, or you guys can use the title to buff up a stat that you have been overlooking. For example. Okay, for example, on my Benito, he has a concentration title. The reason being, all right, and I'll tell you guys why right now. If you guys look at my orbs and crests, you guys will see a lot of, you guys will see a lot more attack. This one over here has 6% attack with 31 flat attack. This one over here has a combined total of uh, 24 attack. This one has crit rate, and this one over here has uh, 8 plus 6 flat stat attack. This one over here has 12 attack plus the 11, so that's 23. This one over here has critical rate and some attack. Well, this one was uh, very lucky. This one over here has critical rate. So overall, you guys can see that while I do have crit rate, I have a lot more attack. So I have already, in my opinion, gotten or milked out as much attack as I could get. However, I'm lacking concentration. And for a unit to be truly, truly reliable, in my opinion, you guys need that unit to be at least 43% critical rate. Because you guys want 50% for it to be really, really reliable. And Tyler, Rock Tyler, which is a natural force which I'm hoping everybody has, or a lot of you guys have, is going to give you guys 7% critical rate, which is going to make your 43% critical rate a 50% critical rate. So, which is why, I mean, of course, generally you guys will only get 30%, but on your main nuker, that's what I think you guys should have, like 50% critical rate. So, which is why I decided to go with critical rate. Now, let's go on to my Jun, for example, okay? Where's my Jun? Jun's over here. I hope this video isn't getting too long. Um, Jun right here. This one is a absolute shit orb. I couldn't find anything else. It's, it's, it's just so bad. This one over here has defense and some cooldown. This one over here has mainly cooldown, mainly cooldown, um, defense and some cooldown, mainly cooldown, nothing, nothing. So overall, looking at this, I would say my Jun has a lot of cooldown, but he could have a lot more defense before my title was applied onto him. Because without the title, let's try to get another title that doesn't affect defense. Let's just say but debuff resistance. Okay. I would actually be losing 207 defense, meaning that my Jun would actually have um, plus 1,086. Yeah, 1,086 plus defense, which is why I gave him the apocalyptic, oh my god, ap apocalyptic, 
I, I don't know why. I went, I, I switched my accent into Australian, and I didn't have the, I didn't have the difficulty in pronouncing that word anymore. Uh, okay, let's try that for a bit. Tell me, if you guys cringe, let me know in the comment section down below. Right here, we got my apocalyptic dreamer, John. As you guys can see, he now has plus 1,293 defense. Alright, that's just cringe. I'm just going to stop right there. Um, okay. <laughs> So, as you guys saw, he was actually lacking in defense, which is why I made up for it by giving him a lot of cooldowns from his crests and orbs. And then, uh, because I focused on cooldowns on his crests and orbs, I went ahead and compensated for the defense loss, or the defense that I could have gotten from the orbs and crests, from his title. That is how I think you guys should orb your, or title up, what's the, what's the... That's how you should slap your title. I don't know what's what's the, what's the adjective there. Like, how do you 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 title up like like suit up? I think slap a title makes a lot more sense, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's how you, that's how I pick to slap my titles onto my uh, units. And then, for example, there are a shit ton of titles, right? This right here is my Ignis. I only use him in freaking um, what is it? Uh, what do I only use him in Conquest. I only ever use him in Conquest. He still has a title, which makes him tankier, which makes my Conquest team tankier. Now, of course, the ideal thing would be to give him some attack. Um, I don't know, like this would be pretty darn good, right? I'm not using it. So I could actually just go ahead and slap this on because screw safety. And there, you, you have so many titles in the game. Just equip them on your units as you see fit because it really does make a difference. All right, even if that unit only has one use in the entire game, just give them a title just to make their just to make their chances of working or your runs succeeding a little bit more um, likely, if that makes sense. Okay, is there anything else I want to say? The best titles that you, that you guys can get are actually from the Codex, in my opinion. So in the codex section down here, you guys will see that as you guys achieve a collection of 50 units, you guys get uh, titles relevant to that to that faction. So right here for Silvus, we have Abyss Watcher, which will give you guys a ton of HP, ton of attack from Calamity Recorder, ton of defense from Apocaly Apocalyptic Dream. Huh? I don't I don't I don't I don't know why I have to do that. I just do. Uh, Jin will give you guys the most crit rate, and Tragar will give you guys the most crit damage. Also, just off on a side note, I don't think uh, Tragar's orbs or Punishment orbs are actually worth farming. Two reasons for that. One, without the concentration route, I think you're, you, you're going to lack crit rate. You, you're going to lack crit rate so hard. So right then and there, if you're not critting, What's the point of having? You guys could have the, you guys could have all the crit damage in the world, all right? It's it's like it's like it's like Trump, all right? He's fucking president. He could do so much to make lives easier for everybody around him, but instead he is racist. How did I come up here? How did we get here? What was I talking about? Oh, punishment orbs, right? Um, so like, he could be making things so much better for people, but he's not. All right, like, it's basically like he has all the power in the world to do anything he wants, but he's choosing not to. And that's very similar to punishment orbs because you guys are basically getting all the crit damage in the world. You guys are getting, you guys are like giving your units that potential to do so much damage. However, the chances of actually applying that damage, which for which you guys actually need crit rate, uh, the chance of applying that damage is actually very, very low without concentration orbs. And also, there is no nightmare mode for Tragar, right? It's just locked. So just off of that, it's very hard to get them from hell because the drop rates in hell are so much more lower. Um, so I just don't think uh, punishment orbs, on a side note, I, I don't think punishment orbs are even are even um, necessary. In Summoner's War, you guys can get Blade, right? You, you guys can get Blade runes that will give you like plus 12. Three of those, that's plus 36. Here with titles and uh, good substance and everything, I the most that I've seen on any unit is 50%. I, I, I don't have one. My Benito is the most that I have on critical rate, which is 46.5.
but like on Summoner's War, you guys can get like uh twelve percent critted on a on a on a rune. Here, the most that you guys can get is two percent. Like that's that's just that's a huge difference. So anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If I hope I helped you guys in some capacity or the other. If you guys have any questions, any at all, please go ahead and let me know. Also, if you guys have any requests for future videos, because most of my videos, they're just like 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 this one. I basically talk about two things, titles and uh, crest, and they were both re requests from someone in the game. So if you guys have any requests for future videos, please go ahead and let me know. I'm sorry if I sound tired. It's just finals week, guys. It's, it's coming up, and I'm procrastinating a lot more than I should. Um, if you guys have any questions, like I said, go ahead and ask me in the comment section down below. I generally try to be very, very, very punctual with the, with the answers. And I try to go into as much deal, uh, detail as I can. If you guys like my content, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It helps keep me motivated. And until the next time, guys, Neon out.